Hey guys, Keith here, Two Guys How To's, and uh, the Fish Kings with a Z. And uh, basically, the life of a YouTuber. Uh, if you're full time, if you're not full time, it can be pretty stressful, even if it's not stressful. But I'm on my way to get this canoe guys got for 50 bucks, and I buy and sell a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna turn around and flip it, get the title for it, whatever I need to do. And uh, maybe sell for 300. But uh, it can be stressful, it could be a lot of work. And it's definitely, it's definitely a lot of work, editing, video, you know, videoing everything, planning everything, scripting everything. But uh, it pays off, it has its rewards. You know, that profit, that money at the end is always, always a good sign. But uh, most importantly, it's just having purpose. You need purpose. And YouTube videoing gives me some kind of purpose other than my other purpose in life of being a father, etc. So uh, it has its rewards. And it can be very, very, very beautiful too. So you can see the panoramic view. YouTubing isn't isn't for everybody, but it's definitely for me. So let's go down and get this boat. We're gonna get in, see if we can beat this guy down a little bit on the price. I think we got him at $50 already. It's an hour away, but uh, it's worth it. So let's go grab this canoe, load it up in the truck, and uh, come back, clean it up, and make some money. Yeah, we're on the road now to get this canoe. It's been a little bit, but uh, we're getting closer and closer for sure. Um, hopefully, it's a good deal. Not too many holes. It looks pretty decent from the ad. So I'm, I'm banking on that. It doesn't need much work. If it does, we can always fill a couple little little spots in and get this thing water and uh, you know river worthy or lake worthy, whatever you're going to use it in. And uh, flip this thing make some money and while I'm down there I'm gonna see what else is for sale in that general area or this guy's got a big yard sale might be able to grab something else that he doesn't know what the worth is or doesn't care and I can get it so uh, let's let's keep on driving and get this thing done all right guys we're coming down the last leg of uh, this journey it's been about an hour <laughs> I tell you um, but I think it's worth it where we are it's an older guy who's got this canoe and uh, I think we can make a quick flip on it I got somebody lined up already who wants to buy it for 300 so we take 50 bucks a little bit of time and uh, flip this thing for a three we're almost there I'm on this back little windy road towards the gentleman's house and I know in the ad that I saw the canoe was out front so I'm kind of looking for a big yard sale and uh, while I'm back in these places, I always look around for something else to buy too. And this guy is definitely back in the cut. I never even knew this part of Virginia existed out here. Now let's get on down this, this road here. Let's see. Let's see what this yard sale looks like here. This is it down here on the left, and I see some balloons and stuff. So let's uh, let's get down here and see what we got going on. And hopefully, this thing is still here. Yeah, it's there in the yard, so we're, we're good. We're good. Real good. See it. It's a nice looking canoe for sure. I don't know if you can see it through the window there over there in the side yard. But uh, we're going to be taking that thing home. We're going to flip it. We're going to make it a quick 250 bucks. So let's get out here and look at this thing. Watch it go down. See what we got going on here. Get my money ready.
got the canoe in here and a bunch of other stuff. I'll show you when we get back. All right, guys, hot as all out. Sweating, 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 but uh, you can see the canoe I got. It's old Montgomery Ward canoe, 17 and a half foot. Got that, got this fire bin for free. The guy gave me because I showed up to get the canoe. I got some other uh, old, old cast iron, kind of industrial uh, holder that I'm gonna use for firewood in the, near the fireplace. I got one of these old wrought iron chairs with cushion in here. And uh, I think I got a pogo stick for my son. A couple other chairs, old ice cream chair. You can see the canoe. How big that, that big that thing is. Let me get back here real quick. Big boy. My truck's an eight foot bed. So we're living large today. I got it strapped in. And uh, I'll show you a couple other things that I got. All for the remarkable low price. Some plant holders here. Uh, there's a thing of straps. I got an old ice cream chair, a pogo stick. Some free cushions, nice cushions that go on this this old chair. You can see it right there. I'll be posting in that thing tonight. A couple old brass bowls, some flower planters. Um, all, all good, just old copper or brass stuff. All for the low, low price of $85. Yep, that's right, 85 bucks. So, a little bit of my time. I'm sitting around today, not doing anything anyway. And uh, I'm always doing something, but uh, I needed something more to do. So we're gonna get, we're gonna haul this stuff back to the house. Check the canoe out in the pond. Pressure wash it up. I got a buyer for that already. If it's that good, I will end up keeping it. But uh, I've got a few of them. And uh, we're gonna flip, flip this stuff, make some cake. And I'll see you guys here shortly. Two guys out too. Check it. Another long commute on uh, another way to make money. So. Uh, no big deal. I had to stop in Best Buy, of course, and get some some new memory cards, flash drive, uh, SSD, external hard drive. All in all, I'm out what 200 and some odd, 200 and some odd amount of money, 229. So uh, that's that's the price you pay if you want to try to build some build some kind of new business. So get some decent gear. Get some decent memory cards for your cell phone or for your video cam. Some uh, external flash drives so you can move large amounts of video around or recordings around. As well as an external hard drive. That way you can lock up if you've got some prized stuff. You can lock it up in your safe and put it in the gun safe or hide it somewhere in a fireproof area. That way all of your hard, hard work that you haven't produced yet isn't lost. So... Uh, we're gonna head home, offload this truck, and see what else I'm gonna get into before the day's over. Hey guys, just made it back home, back from the journey. I went uh, went down and got this canoe, nice old 17 and a half foot, tall stretch of water here. It's old Sea King by Montgomery Ward. Most people don't even know uh, that Montgomery Ward was a big wear, a uh, big store like Sears and Toys R Us back in the day. You used to get a lot of good stuff, so I'm happy I got this thing. 50 bucks. Guy gave me a free fire pit worth 50 bucks. A couple other chairs back there that I'm gonna move up near the hot tub. I paid maybe 10 bucks for those two chairs, all route iron. Heavier duty than that. So, uh, guy just left. I told him what I had. Met me back at the house. Just cruised out on his motorcycle. And uh, I got this boat for, for what, $50. And uh, he just gave me 300 on it. So, I got 300 clams. Made $250 profit, three hours round trip, got me out of the house. So uh, I'm happy, I'm good to go. And uh, this pays for all my best buy gear, my new flash drive, my SSD external hard drive, and a new memory card for shooting more of these videos. So, uh, you know, keep up the YouTube. Everyone thinks YouTube's hard. S some people think, yo, oh, it's easy. It it it's a little bit of bi both, it's bittersweet. But uh, the reward, it is just self-satisfaction of producing something. And if you think your day is boring, or what you do is boring, it's not always boring to everybody else. So next time you think your day is boring, somebody else wants to see what you're doing and see how you do it, and they can learn from you. So keep up that YouTube stuff. Get out there, videotape everything. Even if it's no good, it's always good to somebody else. Keep the two guys how-tos, and I'm out of here.
I'm not a pig. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs>